Let's talk about Tristan. I mean, we're all in agreement here. He's autistic, right? Right. Then why do you guys try so hard to forget that every day? Denial. Denial? You're in denial? No, I accept it, but I don't know how to handle it. I mean, I barely know how to handle my girls, as you can tell. How am I supposed to handle a special needs child? Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm good. I've brought Dr. Lynn Cagle over to meet you guys because she's had over 25 years' experience wow. with autistic children. I work at the University of California in Santa Barbara, and I'm the clinical director of the Autism Research and Training Center. And at the center, we do research and treatment for children with autism. What I would love is for you to give Lynn the opportunity to be able to work with you, Tristan, and to be able to develop and, and progress. With the right kind of intervention, all children with autism can improve. This is our little blessed Tristan. Tristan. Hi. I think it's difficult for any parent to get the diagnosis of autism. It's considered a severe disability, and it's hard. As you know, communication is a big one. He's not using any words yet. He doesn't get the idea that he needs to use words to communicate. The second area that children with autism show is the repetitive behavior. So you've seen him, it, it's actually restricted interest. He's not playing with all the activities like a typical child would. Mm -hmm. And then the third area is difficulty with socialization. Mm -hmm. So although he adores you guys, he's not playing with the sister. It's the way that you would expect for a child his age. And so he looks to me like he's got the classic symptoms of autism. And so the good news about all this is that there are great techniques, they're well researched, and if you use these techniques, he will get better. Great. 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 Once Dr. Cagle got acquainted with the Facente family, it was time for me to put up the routine. And between 8.40 and 10.30, you'll have one-on-one -on -one time with Tristan. And that's where we're going to incorporate a lot of techniques where you'll work with Dr. Cagle here. So from 12... Actually follows along perfectly with Joe's routine. Dr. Cagle made a special routine for Tristan that involved pictures. At this point, his visual is probably better than his verbal. Right. So explaining the things will be more difficult to him, but what we want him to be able to do is see each activity. And when he's done, he can take it off and put it in a little envelope so he can see what's left. Dr. Cagle's schedule will help Tristan realize certain things do happen in an order throughout the day, and it's not just chaos. And as much structure as we can bring to his world, it will definitely help. Let's get cracking. Yeah. <laughs> One thing that could make a massive change for this family is to develop Tristan's speech. So Dr. Cagle introduced the communication technique. Today we started with three steps for working on communication. The first one was finding something he likes and something that he likes enough that he's gonna to try to talk for. Tristan loves the swing, so we use that to provide opportunities for him to say swing. Just push him a little bit and get him involved in the activity and then stop the swing and say swing. Okay. Woo! This is the highlight of his day. Yeah, so let's stop him and now try to prompt it. Swing. <laughs> The second step is prompting him to talk, and the third is rewarding him for any attempt or any good word. Tristan. Swing? <laughs> swing? Tristan, swing? <laughs> you have to say the word 10 times before he'll even try to say it or attempt to say it, and he'll be upset, which that's gonna be really hard for me as a mother because he's my baby. I want him not to swing too much without saying it so he doesn't think. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. Come here. Um, come on, let's go in the house. Let's go, let's go play. We have to keep giving him opportunities and keep working at him. Tristan. Cookie. Cookie. Look, it's gonna be like, you're, you're betraying me, you know? The important thing is that if he does get upset and is trying other things, like crying, that they don't give it to him. This part, the first few words are the hardest. Right He's pretty upset. Here, look at me. You want to do everything to keep your kids happy, but you know, the only thing is, is he won't learn to talk that way. He's got to 
Yeah. We've got to teach them the words to say and that this doesn't work anymore. Because right. we don't want them to be 21 doing that. No, definitely mm -hmm. not. Deirdre did a great job. I felt like it was very difficult for her to see him cry. But he has to learn that if he cries, it's not a good way to communicate. <gasps> tickle, tickle, tickles. <gasps> tickle, tickle, tickles. Tickle. It's important that he learns that he's got to try to say the word in order to get the item that he wants. Tickle. Tickle. That's the first word I think that he said on command. So it was such an exciting moment. I think he's laughing and saying it because he knows what he's going to get. <laughs> I started crying. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> my son has it in him. And if he has it in him, I am all for bringing out his potential. Got a little frustrated at the beginning, but this, you know, now he's, he's gonna get it slowly, you mm -hmm. know, slowly but surely. Deirdre put in a lot of effort. And if she continues to put in this hard work in no time, Tristan's gonna be speaking.